Remember when I had these? Boop. The Star Trek Inner Space series, the little, the tiny little guys, and I showed off the, uh, the, the boxes of the ones what I had bought. Well, I've been opening these gradually every couple of weeks that I've kept on my diet, which is going very well, thanks for asking. Uh, I have given myself one of these to open. I previously did minifigs on the channel. I've sort of been doing it for myself. But, uh, you know, I've, I've died for the last month and not opened any, so I've got two to open. I thought I might as well do them on the channel so you can see what's what. So we're going to start with a Klingon Bird of Prey mini playset. Uh, these are from, let me know, three around there. We'll have a look at the back here. Uh, da, 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 da. 904, it says at the back there, and this is what we're to expect. Uh, there's a Shellcraft Goddard, the Borg ship, and the Romulan Warbird. Ooh, we're going to see the Romulan later. And there's some uh, words and things that are on yellow and green. Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue? Yeah, yellow and blue. There we go. Right. Shall we open up? We've got Worf and Generic Klingon as our additional ones. All right, 1994. These are 22 years old action figures. No value once we open them up, but I don't care about the value of things. I only care about how I value them. Although I'm keeping those bits. Uh, <laughs> Spicy can go bug itself, but those little side bits, I think they're cool. Thank you, Kate. Ooh, crap. Okay, well, it's starting to. My god, it's actually glued on at this point. Let's have that. It's, oh, oh, okay, that's the subtype that's holding the bloody Klingon on, so he really wanted to be attached to his ship. Right, and I have to peel this off from wherever the frack that's being held onto. Ah, off the edge there. I thought it was built into the ship for a second then. These, the bigger ones actually have stickers that you have to stick on, whereas these smaller ones don't tend to, and I much prefer that, because I'm not a big sticker putter runner, although, looking inside it, some of these stickers are awful. Right, that's very stiff as well. Let's, oh, hang on, let's get out before we do anything else. Let's get out and have a look at our small dudes. Oh, he's still in cell type. Christ, that's oh, nice cool. And where's the, there's the, screw it. Don't flip out. <laughs> it's not a very nice way of getting them out, but it works. Let's have a zoom, 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 zoom. Is that close enough? Just get him in the camera. Oh, possibly. We can zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, no, that's just, that's too far. My camera doesn't even know what the oh, entire space. There he is. There's a little tiny wharf. And you can see by my thumb, which is surprisingly clean, normally these are filthy, that that is super small. And these are super small little figures. He's got his wanking hand there, and he's got his... Uh, there'd be no accessories that fit in there. And he's got his uh, one point of articulation, which is the hip thrust, which uh, all Starfleet officers are uh, mandatorily have to go through. I don't know how long I can do this before you all start to get weirded out. Anyway, yeah, and then he's got a... Uh, his wharfy face. It's quite good for wharf, I suppose. He's a bit bad and the paint's a bit shitty on the bottom, but he's very, very small. And there's, oh, he's ripped here. Oh, he's very, very buff at the moment. He's a And for Mr. Klingon face, we've got a, well, he kind of looks like a Star Wars character has melted. And that's, how, that's actually how you make Star Trek characters, just melt the Star Wars ones. But again, for being something that's so small, it's actually quite nicely done. They're going to go over that. And we're going to bring it out for a fair bit. I like the zoom, I like the zoom to show off the Klingon Warbird. Ooh. What bird of prey? Not warbird, is it? Romulan Warbird. Look at me not knowing anything. Uh, and look at me putting the camera just, that's comfortable. Oh, this is effort. So yes, it's a lovely modelled little ship. Tiny, teeny, tiny little ship, really, but it's a beautifully modelled one. And that sticker at the edge is kind of falling apart. There's something there that's just zooming on that. Ooh. Ooh, that was not put on properly. Oop, too far. I don't know if I've just got a zoom that's just too far. That's for like zooming into space or some shit. Sticker's gone a bit gammy, but you know, 22 years. Who gives a toss? All right, inside, as the inside is the exciting bit, and oh, that's a creaky mofo. We've got, oh, we've got some Klingons stuck to the wall for some reason. Hang on, another zoom. Yeah, check that out. There's uh, some Klingons just in the background. But there's the inside, there's the chair that I was like, oh, that's quite interestingly stuck down with the dildo. Uh, in place, as all Klingon ships have it. That sticker is wonky as fuck. A human being stuck these on and they didn't give a fuck by the look of it. Uh, there's some shiny, shiny bits. Are they painted? Are they underside? Oh no, they're painted. Because they don't look like stickers. They look a bit nicer done. And we've got a thingy there with a thingy. Oh, I suppose we can have these up a bit. So oh, actually, I suppose, I mean, really, these are designed for having sort of one open like that. So inside, if I can catch it with a light. Just do uh, then you have sort of the interior of the playset thing. Oh no, I suppose that's a vent. That's more of a little that is over there. <laughs> Do you fucking know what that is? Jesus, can we zoom in on that? Can, can the camera see better than me? What's that? What the fuck is that? Looks like a heads-up display kind of thing, doesn't it? With a ship coming towards them. 
Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a nice Klingon symbol there. And at the front, we've got their view, which is of a Bob Ross painting. That's the bit of space there is. Yeah, it's a nice teeny tiny little place. No idea if these things are retail for, but I had a few. I've got loads now. Uh, right, so we can now stick him in using the dildo. And there's Worf flying his little ship. We can have little Kevin Klingon standing at the back there. Oop, no, falling over drunk there. Actually, we can have him laying down at the back there. Now, my ultimate test of these playsets is how hard is it to put it away? Because uh, sometimes you can't quite close the lids up without killing someone. The Borg cube is very bad for that. Oh, my good lord. Come on, Wolfie Boy. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, I've just noticed something. This thing here, this little... Sorry, fucking hell. You're a professional! Look at that fucking camera! I know, I know, I know. This thing here can rotate, so you can put them into a different bit of space. Or you can have their ship hurtle out of control. It's quite nice. Does that come off in some way? Maybe. What's the... Let's see the back, see if there's anything else. There is uncloaking thingy. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, there's a, there's a display stand here, apparently. Oh, so you can have it open. Oh, so you can have it displayed like that. Hang on, zoom out so you can see the display. Ooh, fuck it, I'm really getting tired of that shit, so I'm gonna just tilt this up. Professional, 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 there we go. You can display it like that. What else we got on this thing then? They always have filled with these little secrets like this. Oh, open it up, place him in the thing, place Wolf at the side, and rotate the main view screen. Well, we kind of went through everything then, apart from the, the thingy at the base. But yeah, I suppose, I was kind of, I was about to say that this will be a bit of a bugger to play with because of all the bollocks that's in it, but uh, actually, pretty all right. So you can sit in there, and then Wolf can, apparently Wolf's supposed to stand over at these side bits, but he's not going to play to do that. And that's why this one is so stiff, because this is a standy place. He's not going to do that. Oh, Wolf! Bloody hell's bells, don't do that. Yeah, we'll close. Stand fell down. <laughs> Didn't make you jump, made me shoot myself. And we'll tuck Wolf in there, and let's see if we can close that up. Oh, big fucking dumb heads in the way. Oh no, it wasn't. Shake him down, shake him down, shake him down. Yeah, they both fit in. And... The well, it's not closed up properly, but they sort of... Yeah, there we go. And then they can fly away. Actually, think about it. That looks a bit fat for a... Klingon on my jig, doesn't it? Yeah, anyway. That's what that one's like. Let's get the next one. We don't need no education or the camera to take it all in. Yes, now we have the uh, thingy. Thingy, my jiggy, my thingy, my jig. Romulan Warbird. Thanks, Brain. Apparently, according to Top it includes Captain Jean-Luc Picard as a Romulan and Romulan operative Sealer. Which one's good? Actually, we'll zoom in on them later. And on the back, what does it do? Opens. All right, you can, you can read this while I'm reading the top bit. Yeah, ooh, nice. Uh-huh. Do that thing. Oh, that, okay. Open the top. Do the thing. <laughs> one of these says, set course to intercept the Federation and its allies. Okay, I'm going to open this now. Ooh, all that. Smell that. 994 out that's coming out of here. Is this 994 as well? Uh, yep. 994. Good year. Have you we invented the Muppets? I'm kidding. They invented us. Banana! -na! Romulan Warbird! And let me just get these figures out. So sort I'll of have to front flip them out of the cell tape. Uh, right, there we go. And then all that debris. Oh, Jesus. I can go down there. Nice! Let's have a zoom in and see our little figures. See our little figures tonight. We've got... Zoom in further on him. No, 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 no. Oh, not that far, not that far! Nothing can be focused upon there. Oh. Hey. I'm assuming that's the Romulan, because it looks nothing like Kirk. And he has hair. This is our little Romulan with his thrusting action that everyone needs to use in space. Oh, he's always got a bit of a side to side action because of the crappiness of the model. And there's a. Uh, he has, doesn't have an upskirt. He's actually just filled with raspberry filling. If you bit him in half, you just. It'll be a nice, smooth raspberry. Which is good. He can stand over there in the blurry. And then, I'm guessing this is Captain Picard as a Romulan. Uh, no, that's not Captain Picard as a Romulan. That's clearly a 1980s children's detective man. Hang on a second. Maybe that is Captain Picard over there. Well, that, that one looks like a Romulan, so I'm assuming he isn't Picard. But that one looks like a Thunderbird character. <laughs> That's what that one is. That one's like, you want to fucking focus on this? You can try. Come on. You can do it. It's because the face just isn't formed enough. It can't focus properly. 
Yeah, uh, that is a Thunderbird character wearing tinfoil. This actually looks like a sort of a Doctor Who villain more than anything else. It's got some straps on the back and very skinny legs. It must be Picard. Anyway, let's zoom on out of those. Stick them over there. Don't zoom out too much because you see my desk, see my desk. See... I'm having fun. We have the Romulan Warbird itself. And immediately, it's got a thing inside it. Okay, immediately, oh, it doesn't open very far at all. Yeah, it's not stuck in a place. What would they, is that just a display? I suppose with this one, you can have it sort of open. Whereas this one, one little twat pushes the packaging down and it's locked. Hmm, okie dokie. So here we have the interior of a Romulan Warbird. Uh, they're having a look at the, uh, that ship there, which is from Babylon 5. And inside there's a little engine majig, or whatever that is. And then there's two seats, which is nice. And here, these look like they move in some way. Oh, they come up. Ah. Yeah, these view screens come up in some way with a fiddly bastards. Is that as far as you come up? Oh my god, I've broken it. Good, I knew that would happen. It was very top heavy. Yeah, these just come up about a millimetre. Good. Good. Yes, so that's the interior of that one. Problem is I broke this off. So how does that go on there? Yeah, this, this one seems to be a bit stranger than the others. Oh, fuck everything in a duck. Because it can't, you can't pull it back very far because of the way it's made. So you can't really get into play with it. This is a fiddly one for kids. I right, put that on there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't do that in front of the camera. Camera's a bit of a funny. Put that on there, like that, yeah. And then that goes on there, like that, yeah. Oh, that's really easy to do. Yeah, but it only opens to there. Which is uh, that sort of angle. Do you want to focus on anything today? Are you having a mood at me or something? Yeah, I mean, it's a nice little place. I really do like the little Enterprise up there. I wish you had a bit more Willy Wee, El Kazi, whatever the fuck they're called on Romulan ships stuff up there. But oh well, we'll stick him in there. And we'll stick Richard O'Brien in there. And we'll close it up nice. That's a set that closes up nice. Apart from the fact that when you drop it on the floor and it breaks, all the figures spill out of it. God. 1990s. You were strange.